We first create the panel using desktop software, such as Word, PowerPoint, or even Excel. Remember, this is a diagram, not a scale drawing. Inspiration can be drawn from signal box diagrams found on the internet. Print the diagram and have it laminated. Now we start as we mean to go on using the correct tools. In this case, a steel ruler and a new sharp blade. During this video, we will share our own tips. For example, have the ruler over the bit you want to keep, so that any stray cuts will damage the bits you are throwing away. When rounding the corners, move the panel more than the knife. A nice touch is to mark the edge with a darker colour. Now we cut the holes using a 6mm hole punch. These are available at most big hardware stores and create a much better result than drilling. The base material must be 3mm thick. This is not only the best compromise for strength, and ease of cutting, but three millimeters is vital for the LEDs to fit correctly. Again, using the correct tools pays dividends and that extra effort such as ensuring the sides are square. Now's the time to use that sharp knife. It's really worth taking your time and doing several firm passes. This will be much tidier than a heavy handed cut. Again, we position the ruler on the base so that the knife will be cutting away from the bit we want to keep. Paint the panels on all sides, that means including the edges. Needless to say, you will have sanded it all over first. You can use a brush, but a roller will always give the best professional looking appearance. And creating a professional looking control panel is, of course, the object of this exercise.